Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Corpse Party. Uh, we're just going to jump right back into it and pick up where we left off. Let's get it. This is the room where we found that dead guy. And that creepy ghost cell is over here. Alright. What the hell was that? Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Okay. Where'd my board go? Where am I? Whoa! What is that? God, what the hell is this? Oh, that fly was here. <gasps> it's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. Who thinks of that? And just splattered everywhere. Ugh, you gonna step in? Ugh, it smells so meaty. So sorry, are you okay, Naomi? I'm, I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. <coughs> okay. Yuck. another dead body there are several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body they seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death we four noble musketeers begin today let's meet behind the main gate after school in Koito. I'm in classroom 5a everybody's fine Yuzuha come join us Asuka the mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag to attach to, attach to what's left of her uniform. Seiko Joshi Gakuin. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. It'll work out for us though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> uh -huh. 
If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind the many left behind by the many other victims who died here. <laughs> Most victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Wait. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's check these rooms first. I see that anytime it gets dark, some stuff's gonna happen. So let me check in here. What is that? What? Must be another door over there. Oh shit. A crumpled note, a crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. God. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Asuka Kato. Wait, what? Wasn't that on this side last time? Am I tripping? What's up, bro? Someone else's thoughts echo in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I, I see what it's talking about. Let me go back in here real quick, though. When we, when we come in the back, it jumps to the front. So how about one of us waits for it over there? Because it was here last time, right? Or here. Is it the spot where we saw that weird glowy thing? Pretty sure. Okay. It disappeared, and it doesn't seem to have made the jump over to you, over here either. Oh, really? Excuse me, y'all. Hey, man, how we get that thing? If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light is going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. We got your ass this time. Yeah, what's up? Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Ha! Gotcha. Naomi, I got it. You did? Nice job. Turned out to be this. Infirmary key. Shiny metallic key with a pretty white finish. The attached label reads Infirmary. Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> we make a great team. Excuse me. I'm gonna go 
to find an infirmary. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to help keep your sa yourself safe. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hairs scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. Hmm. Custodian's closet. Doors. Okay. There's an erratic noise like that of a of TV static coming from within. Okay. It's like a face right there. Almost. All right, let's see what's over here. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it! When we found Yuzu, Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anybody about it. And now, it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Damn. Door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagihori. We gotta find the infirmary. Sorry, bro. Ha! Uh oh. It's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both of its blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. Yo, let me go ahead and save. I'm going to save there too, just to be safe. It's an old fashioned space heater but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. I feel you. Hold on. Y'all stay hydrated. Hmm. I think I've checked everything in here.
you. What's over here? Science lab. Nice. Who are you? Sasha Shinonome. God will surely save me. Go get my board. Hold up. You still down here? Okay. Can I not get it? I guess not. Boys room to the left, girls room to the right. Shut the goddamn door! <laughs> Bro, if you don't relax. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. <laughs> and I really don't know which one is more likely. I mean, what you trying to do? Where you at? He's scared. <laughs> okay. Hey, Naomi? Hmm? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you? What? By any chance? You know, the smeary stuff? What? Again? What's wrong with your ass? Yep, my butt's been drier <laughs> in the desert since we got here. Is this the time for this? Well, I've got some antibacterial cream, if that'll work. Thanks! I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with... What are... What? What? Okay. I'm... Y'all see it. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Yay! What is this game, y'all? Do you have any shame at all? Let me go check on her. Are you good? Where you at? Seiko? Seiko? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Yo, she is really putting ass cream on when there's ghosts around. Couldn't be me. Are you done yet? 
I shouldn't keep bothering her while she's occupied. All right, bro. So what do I do? Just wait till she lathers her ass up? That sounds so weird. Sorry. Big brother! <laughs> Was that Yuka? Where's she at? Is she in here? In the bathroom? Seiko doesn't take being alone very well. Okay, so I need to go get her and then come back and we'll look for Yuka. Seiko? Seiko? Hmm? Hmm? Are you done? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Just making sure you're here. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Thank you, though. Uh, no problem. Hey, wait. Was that stall open? Right? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here, in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine. I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about, after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think he was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out! Right. She really medicated her... Okay. Oof! Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. <clears throat> My leg... Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall all the way down. It seems like you sprained your ankle really badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks. Oh, you won, Seiko. Think nothing of it. If we haven't been successful at finding a way out yet, I doubt we'll have more luck anytime soon. Besides, I don't think my ankle can take much more. Can I get my board back? No? Okay. Still locked. Hey man, you see a little girl on here? No. Okay. Hmm. That was close. This is where we started. I think. Or is it? Other? Let our parting be temporary. I send these flowers, my beautiful flower. As thou waste eternal for my return, beautiful flower, thou canst see, canst see. And shouldest I ever break free of this hell and retake my place to side. These words I couldn't never say and these feelings I couldn't never give will all be laid bare for thee. All right. Victim's memoirs two of five. Alas, the only flower that bloom flowers that bloom in hell are white as freshly fallen snow. So on a lark, thy heart, pure as a heart can be, I wish to stab with pins and scatter the petals, let the white flowers be dyed red by thee. 
You right know that? Out that door. Oh God! I think I stepped in it. Ew, you did? Here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. These, these are definitely somebody's guts. And when what I stepped when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound, like I just plopped my shoe in a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh God, that's way more information. Way too much information. Excuse me. You're gonna make me puke. S sorry. The fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck and lose hope, the answer may lie in your past. Relive it and search through areas you have not yet seen. You may simply be missing the one thing you desperately need to continue onward. Reality will often throw such twists at you. Oh, okay. Check this. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise. No nirvana. Just eternal pain. Uh, why did I have to die like that? Oh. Ah. Sorry, bro. Unknown key. A key to some unknown, unknown lock. Has that classic shape, suggesting it's rather old. Okay, I need that. So... We'll feel pain? We'll feel the pain of death forever? But best not to think about that. This one? Aha! Hmm? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like... My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this, this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty. Behind every locked door <laughs> lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? Y'all hear the, boot, the booty calling out to you? Let's go. Let's get some booty. <gasps> uh, another dead body? A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with his fingernails. Oh my god. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Uh, okay. But I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we just take on take one little peek? All right. She's gonna die first. This newspaper right here, the one that, that the the skeletals the skeletal remains instructed us not to look at. Okay. Heavenly Post. Breaking news: Serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the abandoned youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloody scissors. 
Each of the corpses appeared to have its tongue severed and removed. Something mutilation is far too grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this, though, once before. Not me. But I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Hey, yo. Nah, bro. Let me out. Let me out. The door seems fixed to the wall. It's like a decor decoration. It won't open. Shouldn't have read that damn newspaper, y'all. I'm telling you. Use the matches. Oh, okay. Hello? You will never leave this room. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. Y'all hear that music? Hey man, you gonna open this damn door? Come on. There's no way out. Uh, what do we do? What, indeed? Huh, what do you mean? Just, never mind. <laughs> so we definitely gotta do something with that. Okay. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. <sighs> Hold up. Oh no. No, it's gone. What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still have my student ID holder. Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you, you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. It's probably up there where you put that ass cream on. Where's a... Uh... Oh, girl. Oh, Do we read these already? Okay, three of five. Woe is me. Woe is the me who never stopped loving the... Eat, even if thou chooses to move on, I will always love thee forevermore, 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 forevermore. Okay, cool. Where is this girl at? I'm not gonna go back in here. Somehow, I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. Really? All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. 
They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to go take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Hmm. Ah, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Mm, feels great, Seiko. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. I sprained my ankle plenty badly before. Sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it though. Psycho cool. She's a little weird, but she's she's a good friend. No worries. You've done more than enough already. Uh you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. You're really an oddball. You know that? So, hey, Naomi? Hmm? If we find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Eh? Well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love. Sweet love. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. Snork. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school. Like nothing ever happened. Ha <laughs> ha Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. <laughs> I hope we find him soon. Uh huh. You kind of don't, though, do you? Oh, you kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him. But you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all, she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize to her. <laughs> what did you just do? And what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when I see that... Oh my god. Just that when I... <laughs> yeah, what? It's just that see, when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. Okay, Seiko! You're so weird. Big brother! Did, yeah, did y'all forget about uh, Yuka? That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. Don't go by yourself. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Mm. Alright, okay. I guess I'll stay here. Yo, she really on that ass, though. Mm. My ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a, defi a definite knack for caretaking. Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi. 
I wonder what they're all doing right now. What the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself! And get off of me! That's my chest! Uh, sorry, sorry. I couldn't see what I was grabbing. You're lucky you're so cute. Okay, Satoshi, I see you, bro. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Alright, let's go find, uh, Seiko. Why is the door locked? Uh-oh. On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? Bruh. Are those... Children? Let's go all go on a field trip together. Oh, what? I ain't scared. Come on. Come out. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. That is crazy in my ears, man. Let me, uh... Let me save. Just to be safe. Ew, what is... The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. Is... Is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. You over here? What's up? Haphazardly a scrawled shorthand begins appearing on the journal on the desk. As if being written by unseen hands. The letters are so mishappen or misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. Bro. Sachi, have you come to find me? <gasps> what the <gasps> I need to get away. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Oh hell no. Oh hell no! <laughs> the black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent force. If this continues, death is inevitable. Hey, you let me out of this room, bro. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's no use. Where did this hair come from? God help me! Oh hell yeah! I forgot we had him. What's up? The flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Okay. Bro, go away, dude! Oh shit, 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 shit. Fuck! Get off of me! Let me cut no! What's happening? <laughs> the black mist begins flowing into Naomi's body. Through her nose, her mouth, her ears, her eyes. In no time at all, she's completely engulfed. <laughs> With vision darkening and consciousness fading, the last thing Naomi ever sees It's the wildly grinning visage of a woman she's never seen before. Did she just die? What? What? Hmm. 
Yo, I'm so glad I saved right there. Oh my god. I'm so glad I saved right there. Wow. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Focus. 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 I wonder what happened if I if I if I like this. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Did I go back over here? Oh no, that's stupid. Okay, it stopped. Why did it stop? trying to do okay I think it's trapped me that's why it stopped so it's waiting for me to come back over here maybe maybe I attack it oh shit oh shit Let's go. maybe not yes 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 let's go with a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. I am so glad I saved, man. Whew. Seiko, sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-uh. Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? Yo, we ain't going back in that room. While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black... Apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out though. Yeah, we ain't going back in there. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. And I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on, it's not that bad. We'll figure something out. 
Class 2 Niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then, in the afternoon, what say you and I go get our bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh, hmm? You just keep smiling and laughing. Do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out? That's a crock and you know it! Damn. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirit up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out, irrationally, and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth, as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search. But they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to... So you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all of this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi... Sorry. And how about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who... Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad, and you, and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Seiko, I'm... I'm... I'm so... I... I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. No, this is not what we should do. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. I'd heard her loud and clear, though. 
She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Sicko was just a little too bright for me, so bright that it hurt. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces, where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place, were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I ever could have imagined. Wow. Aww. That jerk. Okay, so I'm... I'm Seiko now, okay. Mm. I read this. Oh. Mommy's gone. Mommy's gone. Daddy, I can't find mommy anywhere. I told y'all I'm a mercy on this one, y'all. In my voice acting bag. When I'm by myself, I think of the stupidest things. Okay. I think I just heard somebody calling out. I mean, I guess. Hope I get another save point. We see the importance of that now. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. <sighs> From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went, where I went during this time. I just ran if, as if in a daze, unaware of the uncon oh my God, the unconcerned with my surroundings. Oh, unaware and unconcerned with my surroundings. Let me slow down, y'all. When I finally came back to my senses, I found, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko. Don't leave me by myself in here. <laughs> This is your idea. Seiko? Seiko? Is that you? You got it. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, uh-uh. Hello? The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. <gasps> oh my god, no, 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 no! Seiko! No! Why? Why? 
No! No! Yo, help her down! Seiko? You're alive? Hold on! I'll get you down! Oh, sorry! Oh, oh! What do I do? What do I do? The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her are just str uh, strangling her further. Yo, get, get, oh my god. I have to, her neck. I gotta find something, I gotta find something. There's like a chair or something out here. I need a platform, something. To, okay, chair, 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 chair. There's a chair. Oh, or that bucket that's out here. Yes, you. I might be able to use this as a footstool. Yeah, come on. Hurry up! If she's gone, okay. Seiko, I'm right here. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. <laughs> Apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours ago, I was uh, a few hours before. I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't be! Wow, yo! Wow. Um... That was chapter one of Corpse Party. Uh, definitely didn't expect that ending. I did say that she was going to be the one to die, though. But I didn't think it would be like that. Um, yeah. Like I said, that's, uh, chapter one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that first chapter. <laughs> um, uh, wow. Wow. Thank you guys uh, again for coming back and joining me again for uh, Corpse Party. I'm st sorry, I'm still just in shock from that. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, and um, yeah, if you are, uh, please like and subscribe this to uh, the channel for me. Please like this video for me. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys back here for Chapter 2. Stop. <laughs> Uh, thanks again for coming through, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.